Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is March 9th, 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, as you can obviously see, I'm not watching this live because every time something goes live, uh, god damn it, um, every time something goes live, I have to go to work. That's just the schedule that I have. But we are here. Nintendo had a direct. I have not seen anything. I avoided Twitter. I I went to go check my email and Nintendo tried to fucking tell me their announcements. I was like, I ain't having none of that shit. And I'm pretty excited. Uh one thing before we start. Well, two things. One, uh last time I did a Nintendo Direct thing, I was so hyped about the fucking uh World Ends With You thing. I wasn't paying attention. That is not a new game. <laughs> um, it is a, uh, it is probably the solo remix version of the game, and has like more content. But that is not a new game. I was just too excited and wasn't paying attention to that, so I made myself look like a fucking idiot. Now the second thing is, uh, as for this Nintendo Direct, I hope that we see something about No More Heroes. I hope we get a release date on The World Ends with You because they said it was coming out the spring of this year. Um this year of 2018 and uh those are kind of besides like metroid and and um like metroid prime and everything else and all the other basic nintendo ips uh i don't know what else i really am looking forward to hopefully oh maybe octogon what, what is it called octopath traveler right i think that's what it's called that and maybe shimikon tensei 5 and hopefully a port of a uh, of a uh, Fire Emblem Cross Shin Megami Tensei, because that was a uh, that was a good game. But without further ado, let's get started. Let's get started. Move the mouse all the way over here. Please be something good. Oh, Pokemon. I would like to hear about Pokemon too. Hi everyone. The time has come for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide. Hi Koizumi-san. I have lots of information to share about upcoming games for Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. Up first, some Nintendo 3DS headlines. Okay, what's new for the 3DS? It's the biggest collection. Is that Wario? Game series. Is that WarioWare? The latest fucking Wario Jesus Christ is coming to the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. Do people really play those? There's a new way to play Of course Wario, people play them. Why the fuck would they sell it if people don't play it? With classics and new additions, there are 300 micro games to enjoy. Oh, 300 mini uh, games from WarioWare. Press it's a WarioWare collection. That's that's cool, I guess. I mean, WarioWare was what? It started in the uh, DSi? This mini control scheme. Like the DSi wear and stuff like that? Required for this one. Better figure it out and dig that crazy action while it's hot. Hey, some familiar characters are rocking new looks. This is the most jam-packed game in the series yet. Just look at that face. Even Wario can't contain his wicked grin. WarioWare Gold launches August 3rd. Get ready for oh, hey, races in battle. I forgot his name, but a lot of people fucking Dylan. That's what he's called. A lot of people's been looking for a new Dylan game. Yes, sir. Action. That's pretty cool. I haven't played Dylan, but I know a lot of people's been looking for a new one. They really like the first one. That looks cool as fuck. What the fuck? Dylan. That's awesome. Team up with your own animalized me character. Be strategic and use your whole team. What in tarnation? Your friends' me characters can join the team as gunners. Well, you'll need their help. Animal me characters? Is that what the fuck they said? Who or what will you and Dylan get tangled up with? Never mind that. There's an enemy invasion to stop, and a frontier in desperate need of some heroes. The demo version of the game will be available for download May 10th. Oh, there's a demo version coming out. That's pretty cool. The full game, Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers, rolls into Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3 I will try that out. That seems pretty awesome. I never played Dylan before. Are the brothers and Oh! Still better together? 
Nintendo DS classic Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story is back for more Oh, so they're re-releasing this. Mario and Luigi have been tasked with finding a cure for the Blorbs, a disease threatening all life in the Mushroom Kingdom. But thanks to Fawful, both brothers have been devoured by Bowser, and so their journey takes them deep into the belly of the beast, leaving Bowser to scour the kingdom for the cure. The only way forward is to change between the bros and Bowser. The big bad will even beef up for monstrous boss battles fit for a king. Take him down in this action-packed RPG. And, uh-oh, looks like his boy wants in on the action. Find out what happens behind the scenes in the untold story of Bowser Jr. So they're re-releasing it with when more Mario content. Luigi, okay. Inside story plus Bowser Jr.'s journey launches in 2019. Here's the scoop. Oh, Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. Did that come out in the U.S.? Something about this Pikachu is a little different. He's gruff. You agree with me, don't you? Runs his mouth. Hey, don't boss me around. Likes coffee. This high hat blend is as delicious as ever. And no one knows why. <sighs> Welcome to Rhyme City, where humans and Pokemon usually live in harmony. But recently, Pokemon have been behaving oddly and running amok. So there's a fake Luckily, a boy named Tim and Detective Pikachu are on the case, facing each mystery. That's a creepy ass Pikachu. Didn't people want fucking uh what's his name? Danny DeVito to fucking play him? And Danny DeVito was like, what the fuck is a Pikachu? Guys, chill the fuck out. It's available for pre-purchase in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. Crack the case with Detective Oh, okay, so I guess it came out in Japan but didn't come out in the US. Keep your eyes peeled for the And we're getting an amiibo for it, which is oh my god, giant amiibo for Detective Pikachu for Detective Pikachu. That mysterious mansion oh. appeared in the Nintendo 3DS remake. They're remaking the first Luigi's Mansion. That's awesome. Because I know Dark, a lot of people bought uh, what's called Dark of the Moon, which was the second one, but it didn't really. Nintendo I'm not gonna say it didn't really do too well, but it was it was a step down from the original Luigi's Mansion, because everything was like way more generic. Like the level of design was more thought out, I guess. But I mean, Dark Moon game can now. But I mean, the first one's way better. Where Mario went missing. I'm fuck. I'm getting that. <laughs> The first one's really good. Holy shit. And now you can take it wherever the fuck you want. But if they're going to re-release it, why the fuck they do it on the 3DS? Why didn't they just do it on the Switch? It would have been way better. Displayed on the bottom screen. If you work up the courage, fight the ghosts of your past battles in the new boss rush mode. Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo 3DS launches this They should have put it on the Switch. I think that's a big, like, mishap. That's it for 3DS? So, wh how many minutes was that? That was like so good. That was like eight minutes or so. Keep the headline. Eight minutes, maybe like five minutes. Uh, so the rest is gonna be dedicated to Switch. Okay, what we got? Kirby can even make friends with those characters. Is that Bandit D? Everybody loves Bandit D. Finally launches next week. As you fight through your adventure, you'll reach dream palaces where, surprise, even fan favorite legacy characters can become Kirby's friends. Bandit Waddle D. Yeah, everybody loves Bandana D. Some heavy hitters on your side, even the likes of King DVD, Meta Knight, and Bandana Waddle D. Bandana D. Everybody loves Bandana Waddle D. Best Waddle D ever, because he has a fucking bandana. Be added to the game via free updates after launch. But I don't know why this is like first update a new thing. Like they showed it in the first trailer, where Kirby was like teaming up with the uh, Waddle D. Not Waddle D. Um, Marks. He was teaming up with King DVD. And gooey. Okay, so we have it's other characters from uh from the old Kirby game. Well, I say characters, but more like enemies that were in there. Well, besides Marx, what the fuck? Marx is there. Isn't Marx like that creepy ass boss fight? Available March twenty eighth. What the hell? A quick reminder: a free demo. Ooh, free demo now. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna play that. What else? That's great. I love me some fucking Kirby. Okami! Huh! On the Switch! Oh! I just bought it for the PS4 and played it in 4K. It was amazing. I'll play it again. You can't stop me. You can't fucking stop me. Fun part about Okami. Um, before I did the Catherine playthrough, I was actually gonna do the Okami playthrough. 
but then they announced it for a re-release on the PS4, so I didn't do it. Celestial <laughs> brush. Uh, when I do do the, pl uh, the playthrough for Okami, it will be on the PS4 though because it has better quality and stuff like that. But oh my god, keep buying Okami. If you buy more Okami, they'll make an Okami 3. We need Okami 3. Just, just make it. Just make it. We need it. Way to solve puzzles. I fucking love Okami. Okami is so good. Oh my god. Meet an eclectic cast. Solve mysteries. And slay countless Okami is so good, and it's and it's a pretty long game. I'm not gonna lie, that game's kind of long, a little bit too long. Oh, this summer, holy, that's a lot of that's a lot of time. Eat up and throw sushi. Throw sushi? What the fuck? An adventure unlike any other. The hell is this? belt sushi action. It's Sushi Striker, the way of sushi. Sushi Striker. The story takes place after the For some reason I'm getting a really like uh what's called Dekamaro's Castle or something like that. You must wage all out conveyor belt sushi battles to defeat the empire and topple its sushi monopoly. Just straight up a bunch of anime cutscenes for this game? Really? Just eat more and more sushi to pile up plates of matching colors on a table, then throw them all at your opponent. Mix up your strategies to crush your So you got to eat sushi to get fucking plates so you can throw them at your enemy and kick their ass. You may be able to get the upper hand in battle. Of course, there's a multiplayer mode too. Battling fellow sushi strikers online. That looks like it's that actually looks pretty fucking fun. Holy shit. Sushido launches What? That's awesome. And Nintendo 3DS. That's really good. More travelers, more details. More travelers. What do you mean? Is this Octopath? Hello. Yeah, it is. He's wearing a fucking shirt. It says it right there. God damn it. Yes. Everybody, shut up. I have three Listen, to Octopath. To share with you. Three more characters. I'd like to introduce two more main characters. What lies beyond the horizon? Is she an alchemist? Meet Tressa the Merchant. She sets off to find her own adventure and gain experience in her job. Her path action is purchase. Oh. She's a she's a um she can obtain special items. She's a merchant. I helped out someone in a bind. Simple as that. This game's this so is good. Often, the apothecary. He embarks on his journey to heal those suffering across the continent. His path action is inquire. He can worm out info others aren't privy to in standard conversations. Next, let's talk about jobs in battle. Characters start out with a base job, but they can equip an additional job to Oh my god, if you played the fucking- if you played the demo of this, it's so good. Like, I played, um, as, pr uh, what's her name, Primrose? Like, the dancer in the demo? Oh, it's so good, and her story's fucking awesome. I love this game. This game's awesome. Finally, we know many of you have been wondering about the release date. Give me a release date. launches. <sighs> In the summer, that's an awesome time. Oh, oh look at that! Offering a special edition of the game. Inside, you'll find a pop-up book introducing the eight characters and their places of origin, a helpful map for your adventure, a sound selection CD, and a replica coin based on the in-game currency. This special edition will be released the same day as the regular version of the game. Your comments have provided the development team with reference points and inspiration as we head into the home stretch of our work with the game. Please look forward to the release of. There's only two things that I want from that special edition, and it's the map and the fucking soundtrack. What happened? Yes, no more heroes. Here we go. Oh my god. Otaku Assassin. What? The legendary gaming console. The Death Drive Mark II. Travis Touchdown wanders into the game world and embarks on a rampage of epic proportions. Oh my god, this game looks way better. What the fuck? Racing, puzzles, a total of seven different game titles. With his beam katana in hand, he vows to exterminate every. So this is a very different play style from the old games. From, uh, from No More Heroes 1 and 2. And Paradise, which is basically a remake of one. Boss lurks at the end. Oh my god, what the fuck? Are these the assassins? Holy shit! Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for co-op multiplayer. Co-op multiplayer. Oh my god, that's so good. This is gonna be a good game. Oh, it's Metal Gear! Which tells a new story. Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch in 2018. 
coming this year. All right. In Dark Souls. I thought. Wait, what? Amiibo for Dark Souls? What the fuck? Are you crazy? Dark. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is the gaping dragon? Oh. And hope. Gaping dragon, so fucking hungry. One clean victory becomes a moment you'll never forget. Dark Souls. Now you can portable Dark Souls. That's all you need. Anywhere for the first time on console with Nintendo Switch. Before launch, there's going to be a network test so players can try the game. They're like, hey guys, we're uh, we're we're shutting down the service for Dark Souls, and then we're gonna put them back up because this game is awesome. Praise the fucking sun! Oh my God, Solaire! You can perform the Solaire of Astoria has a fucking amiibo. Praise the sun, you son of a bitch. Oh my god, that's awesome. Launch on May 25th. Oh, that's gonna sell out like a bitch. Oh, it's gonna sell out. How's it going so far? Well, I have a quick reminder. Did you hear that my Nintendo members can now redeem gold points for digital games and DLC on the Nintendo Switch system? Just choose to use your points during the checkout process in Nintendo eShop for Nintendo Switch or on the Nintendo website. Visit the My Nintendo website to learn more. Okay, we have more Nintendo Switch headlines, but first, let's shine a nice long spotlight on one title in particular. Please, take a look. What title is this? Is it a new one? What you got? What you got for me? Oh, Mario Tennis. Okay, never mind. It's not new. <laughs> Damn it! I mean, tennis is awesome. Don't get me wrong. The amount of times I played Mario Tennis on the fucking Nintendo 64, oh, it's so dumb. But now they have like all the fucking special abilities and shit in it, and it's not, it's not as, it's not as pure as it used to be. Chain Chomp? What the fuck? Varied playstyles on the Nintendo Switch system allow up to four players to step onto the court together. Fucking Chain Chomp. Chain Chomp fucking has a goddamn racket. Refined tennis gameplay. There's a variety of shots to serve up, like a basic shot, top spin, slice, and a lob that'll zoom over your opponent's head. That fucking slice is gonna be a pain in the ass. Why not aim and then shoot? All right, no, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. That fucking sucks. All new zone shot. It lets you pinpoint any spot you want to aim at using motion controls and send the ball crashing down. Zone shots are really powerful, so if you get hit by one, your racket will take some damage. Your racket takes fucking damage now? Are you kidding me? Hits, it'll break. What? To forfeit if it's your last one. It's an instant KO. It's a fucking tennis game. What do you mean KO? You can stop a zone is there is there is there a regular tennis mode that I can play in this game? You block protecting your racket. Oh, you can block it. Okay, you can block it, but it seems like it uses fucking stamina for some reason. Timing just right. That's where zone speed comes into play. When using zone speed, the world around you moves in slow motion allowing you to perform incredible feats, like chasing down a quick shot. It's no instant win card, but it makes it a bit easier to block powerful zone shots. Of course, you can't just spam zone shots and zone speed the whole match. You can only initiate these moves by using up some of your energy gauge. Your energy gauge does not replenish? Slowly fills up the longer you keep a rally going. Okay, so you gotta keep you gotta keep the rally going to build it up. All right. Is with the new trick well, at least there's a what the fuck did Mario just do a trick shot? Oh my God, there's way too much shit for this game. What the hell? <laughs> just make it pure. Make Mario Tennis great again, please. You may waste your energy or lose a point, but if you're successful, your energy gauge will get a big boost. Fill up your gauge, and it's go time. Initiate your ultimate shot, the special shot. Fucking Mario Tennis Brawl. In a big way. This is what's happening right now. Look at that shit. It may even destroy your opponent's racket in one hit. However, not even a special shot guarantees a win. 
There's always a chance it could be blocked, so watch out. It could be blocked, but you saw how fucking far Wario got pushed back? What the hell? Hopefully, a reward. Your energy gauge could be the key to victory. Will you use it for an offensive zone shot? Or use it for some defensive zone speed? Why would you never use it for defense? <laughs> Let's say you go for the zone shot. Will you go for a surefire point? Or will you try to destroy your opponent's racket and run the risk of getting blocked? Non-stop, split-second strategies may be the best part about Mario Tennis Aces. Purists rejoice. You can also play using simple rules. Thank you, simple rules. Uh, what the fuck just happened? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the fuck just happened. For some reason, uh, yeah, we lost, uh, connection. For, like, a split second. Like, straight up. All I had to do was refresh the page, and it was like, there you go. But, um, they have simple rules, so you can play, you can play pure, pure Mario Tennis, which is awesome. Connect online. You can play a match with your friends or Is Mario Tennis gonna be the new Mario Kart? Cause everybody loves some everybody love Mario Kart. Allowing you to compete against other players. Matchmaking is based on your record during the event. As a participation bonus, you can get special outfits or even additional characters. <sighs> Fucking There's we're gonna have DLC characters and cus customize with deal. What the fuck? Oh, swinging mode. Okay, I thought they were. I thought it was a fucking accessory for the game. Oh my god, I would have been. Uh, Nintendo Labo. <laughs> oh man, I hope they don't talk about fucking Nintendo Labo. Oh my god, I don't want to hear about it. The game offers a refined approach. Fucking chain chomp. On what the hell? <laughs> Bowser Jr. Plus the story got dry bones. Other twist to the good old game of tennis. Petey Piranha, what the hell? Yep. Fucking Waluigi, so so fabulous. Mario Tennis Aces launches June twenty second. Okay, June twenty second. Nintendo's going for uh, summer and releases. One last thing. As we approach the Ooh, launch, tournament. We decided to hold a pre-launch online tournament. That way, you can try out Mario Tennis Aces for yourself. We'll announce the details at a later date, so please stay tuned. It's like a uh, it's like the um what's it called? The Arms Punch-Out um tournament stuff. Not tournament. Playtest. Let's continue with some Nintendo Switch headlines. Hey, Captain Toad! That's awesome! Why did I stutter when saying Captain Toad? <laughs> like, it, like it was a hard name to say. Uh, everybody loved Captain Toad. Inspired by Japanese box gardens called Hakoniwa. You can rotate the camera and touch the screen. Can't jump though. He cannot jump. Captain Toad is awesome. We've included a few Super Mario Odyssey levels, too. Now you can explore locales from a variety of kingdoms. Check out New Dog City! Man, Captain Toad became really way, popular after uh, Captain Toad Mario 3D World. In Super Mario Odyssey? The Nintendo Switch version can be played with a friend by sharing a pair of Joy-Con controllers. While one player controls Captain Toad, the other can assist with things like turnip cover fire, so you can enjoy tracking treasure together. We also plan to release a Nintendo 3DS version with three. Man, they're going all out with Captain Toad. Holy shit! It feels like there's a box garden right near. Captain Toad's gonna be the fucking new WarioWare. They're gonna throw WarioWare out in the fucking dumpster. Hey, who turned out the lights? <laughs> what the fuck, really? <laughs> Undertale? How is that getting on fuck? Oh my god. They put it on the vi well, I mean, if they can somehow put it on the fucking Vita. They fucking put it on Switch. Oh my god. Fucking Undertale on the goddamn Switch. You know fucking there's still people in this world who have not played Undertale at all. At this point, I think I think fucking ah uh, 
I don't know who the fuck the name of the developer is. I can't remember at this point. But they should just make like more content. Icon what the hell? Nintendo okay, Switch. it's not owned by Sony. Impossible I forgot. Impossible it's not owned it by Sony. All three. I forgot. Crash Bandicoot games it's now owned by uh. Nintendo system for the not not on um, the Vendi Spin, fucking jump, Visceral. Wump, it's owned by Visceral, right? Plus action platforming levels as Crash and his sister Coco. Everything from the cinematics. No, the it can't be owned by Visceral. What am I saying? Visceral was vis Visceral was shut down. Who the fuck owns Crash? On your TV or on the go. Crash is owned by um. Plans for world domination and save in Crash Bandicoot. Form an Who the fuck you owned by Crash? The mad scientist in Crash Bandicoot. Damn. Two, Cortex strikes back. And stop him in the evil Uka Uka through a battle across time in Crash Bandicoot. Cra I know Cra Crash is owned by Activision, not, right? Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is officially. Yeah, he's owned by Activision, but who the fuck made him? Um, who made the port? Not port. Um, who made the fucking all the nightmares? I still haven't played that. I wanted to play that for for last Halloween. Tarzier Studios comes a but but I just didn't have the time to invest in it. Oh my god, little nightmares! I'd be happy to buy this on the Switch. Holy shit, that's awesome! Vast vessel of mystery haunted by corrupted souls. The complete edition on Nintendo Switch contains two haunting tales in one package. In six and the kids' separate adventures, you must face their childhood fears across all eight chapters, including all past downloadable content. Each room is a cell. Each resident is a threat. And both present complex 3D puzzles to master. Fucking uh, Little Nightmares is very fucking uh, limbo and um and sideish. Amiibo figure. Oh, yellow Pac-Man, Pac-Man hood. This is on May 18th for six. That's cool. South Park is coming to Nintendo Switch. Nintendo's going all out with Side mature Park games. I like South it. Park, the fractured but but it's coming to Nintendo Switch. Uh, if you already the played South, South like if you're someone like me who already played South Park: Adventure. The Fractured Butthole, there's really no need to play it again. Very first time. It has very, and I'm I'm gonna be honest, it has very little replayability. Stan, Kyle, Kenny. I'm not sure if they actually put DLC in the game yet. Have yourself a time I think they might have. As surprisingly deep as the show like it's a fun game, but when you get towards the end, it kind of just falls off. Level up. In my opinion, I think I think um, Stick of Truth was a way better game. All past DLC will be available for purchase. But this one was pretty entertaining. Part of the season pass. DLC one Danger Deck. And DLC so the DLC did come out. Okay, I didn't play the DLC. Maybe it makes the game better. And DLC 3 Bring the Crunch will tell an additional story when it releases later this year. Okay, there's more DLC coming for this game. Okay. I didn't know that. So there's still reason to, to go back and play that game. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition launches... When exactly? Yeah, when you launch it. I want to play as fucking Skull Kid. <laughs> oh man, I gotta buy a bigger SD card. The heroes and villains of the. Because this was a uh, this was one of the Dynasty Warrior games that I just straight up skipped. This spring. But then I saw like all the fucking all the goddamn DLC they put out for this game. only on They're like you can play as Skull Kid and and Milan and fucking and uh. Don't miss this. The arms is that a new character for arms? An invitation to all you hardcore fans out there who've been playing the game. What the fuck? The added characters and stages, and going online to play the new party crash mode. We're happy to announce the Arms US and Canada Online Open. Prelims will take place in the game's online ranked match mode from March. Wait, that's just a character that I never knew about. The fucking the the online the snake dude that they just showed. Not the snake guy. Fucking, I say snake guy, but there's already a snake guy. There's fucking skater dude. The event live from Nintendo of America headquarters on our official site. Stay tuned for our social channels for more details in the coming weeks. And if you're not an Arms fan just yet, well, we have good news. On March 31st, we'll be hosting a three-day test punch. Download this demo event from Nintendo oh, cool. on Nintendo Switch. Because I still haven't bought ARMS. Like, I've... Because I bought Splatoon 2 on instead. On March 21st, producer Kosuke Yubuki will discuss the development of ARMS at the Game Developers Conference. And Hisashi Nogami will present... I mean, ARMS was a pretty big success. Like, a lot of people bought into it, so... That's pretty good. I like that they're still supporting that. Inkopolis News... Hey, speaking about Splatoon 2, what we got? I haven't played this in a while. 
This April, Splatoon 2 We're announcing that we killed off Pearl. She's too useless. We don't need her no more. We only need Marina. Oh, new outfits. That means fresh looks, just in time for the ultimate du duo, fucking Mary and Marina. <laughs> like, we got rid of both Callie and Pearl. They're dead now. We turned them to sushi. Triggerfish. And the hottest date spot for the hippest inklings. Wahoo World. And what? Rank X is here. Rank X is an extreme rank. Even higher than S+. More details are coming soon. Once you meet certain conditions, Callie will appear in Octo Canyon. <laughs> Once you meet certain conditions slash finish the story mode. <laughs> I still haven't finished the story mode, but I can still tell that fucking they probably brainwash Callie. They're like, oh guys, Callie went missing. What the fuck? What are you guys doing? What are you doing on my screen? Now, a word from the Squid Research Lab. Check out their latest video. You can play as fucking Octolings now? That's awesome. Because it was always questionable to me, like why the fuck is Marina an Octoling and no one ever talks about it? <laughs> you can play as Octolings now. Yo, fuck it. Nintendo's just being all about all about the sassiness and the curves. Why the fuck she walking like that with purpose? Kill Pearl. Somebody just murdered that bitch. Hey Marina, what's up? Marina looks so awesome. Oh my god. What the fuck is this music playing? This is dope as fuck. <laughs> oh, come on. They have the fucking blobfish thing. Fucking nasty ass fish. Is this a concert? Are we gonna start dancing? What the fuck am I looking at? Why are they turning this shit up to 40? Why? <laughs> what is happening? Damn, Nintendo's been going all out with the fucking Switch. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, fucking thug style Octolings. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. <laughs> fucking, yo. Looking like a straight up hood rat. Oh man, yeah. Full version of game required. Hello. Squid Research Lab here. So, how was it? You just got a sneak peek at the first paid downloadable content for Splatoon 2. The hefty new single Oh yeah, all the DLC's been free so far. Man. You'll play as the new character, Agent A. Give me that soundtrack. What the fuck? Yo. <laughs> That's like a ringtone right there. Come on. Subway station without fucking memories. god damn it it's like some kind of shady underground test facility in this massive subterranean world there are 80 of these test facilities connected by a subway you'll depart from the station with purpose a variety of missions await agent 8 and her talents expect new stories to unfold shedding new light on beloved characters you may think you know everything about the world of Splatoon, but these waters run deep, and so does the lore. Escape from these twisted depths, and you'll be able to join multiplayer matches as an Octoling. We hope you enjoy this fresh perspective. Why do the Octolings, have, they look like they have better hairstyles? <laughs> what the fuck? That means 2018 is the year of the Octoling. Platoon man, you are you are trying. <laughs> that man is trying to be um 
Splatoon 2 Fuck. Octo expansion will be available for advanced purchase. I can't think of anybody's name now, but um With this purchase the Splatoon the the writer for fucking the director for Nier Automata. In game gear. He's trying. He's trying his hardest to to become a character. But he looks like an idiot every time. Hopefully Splatoon 2 will continue to splatter our expectations. You bet. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. That's it. No Pokemon Switch. Well, actually, we have one more announcement. You better have one more, you son of a bitch, and it better be good. It better be good. Please, please. Oh my god, please. Something good. World ends with you. What the fuck is that? Ah, uh, it's more Splatoon shit. Splatoon joined Smash. I swear to god, if they say Splatoon joins it, this is like a Smash fucking trailer. Is this a Smash trailer? Inkling joined Smash? Inkling joined Smash. Inkling joined Smash. Look at it. Look at it. It's a fucking Smash trailer. It can't be a Smash trailer. It's too good. It's a Smash trailer. Oh my god, it's a fucking Smash trailer! Fucking did it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh man. You can't up that. You can't up that. You can't. You know, come on. Come on, man. You can't. Let me just let me just pause this shit. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking smash trailer. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's good. Alright. Oh man, I'm I'm speech I'm speechless right now. So <laughs> I have nothing to say. Who knows? Maybe in the future I'll do like a separate discussion video or something like that. I probably won't to be honest. But um <laughs> As always, um like, comment, subscribe and all that other bullshit. Fucking tell me about what you're excited most for the Switch for this year in the comments. And of course as always, Thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.